All righty. So I'm here to uh, talk about the sale of Marineland. So for those of you that may not know, Marineland has officially sold. It is in the handoff phase of the sale, and the new owners will take uh, ownership, I believe, on May 1st, as um, that is when Marineland has said that there will be an announcement of what's going to operate this season and a much cheaper ticket option. Um, that they'll be offering due to a majority of the park not potentially operating. And I want to talk about that. So I'm hearing through the rumor mill um, that Marineland uh, is not going to have its rides operational this season. So Marineland, unfortunately, does not have the TSSA um, improvement uh, to have their rides run this year. It is nothing that they did wrong. It's thing the park just didn't go through the regular procedures of getting their rides certified. That is just something that I'm hearing from a bunch of different people. Um, so I definitely believe in that. I don't think the rides will be operational. It kind of says that in the press release that it's going to be some very slim pickings of offerings this season, and they're going to be offering a much cheaper um, ticket option. Now, if there is a few rides running, it'll be very select few. I'm going to guess the splash pad will be up and operational um, and some of the animal exhibits. Now, I'm also kind of seeing signs um, from a couple of my sources that check out the park that some of the animals have already started to get removed. Now, I want to say take that with a grain of salt because they could be in holding elsewhere, um, but we are seeing signs that some of the land animals have been transported out, but that is pure speculation at this point until the park opens for its season. Now, it is not opening the May 2-4 weekend like it normally does. It is opening in June, um, and again, with a lot of different operations this season. Now, that brings me to the topic of who is buying Marineland. Well, I would love to say that is going to be some big player like um, Hershen, SeaWorld, Busch Gardens, uh, Merlin, anything big like that. But unfortunately, I want to talk about why I don't think it is a name brand that is buying the park. So it with the new company taking ownership um, around May 1st and taking ownership this season, in my opinion, if it was some big name brand, they would have been able to convince the TSSA to come in and register these rides. Um, and they'd be coming in with some big promise to restructure the park like no animals. Um, we have a promise to get rid of them by this date. I still think that's a possibility, by the way. But I feel like there would have been greater emphasis on potentially not even opening this season as the new company gets ready to restructure the park. That's why I think it's not some big name brand, unfortunately. Now, I could be completely wrong. I actually have not heard anything. Even some of my sources within the park have not heard anything um, as it is being kept hush-hush. But uh, I, again, I just don't see it being some big name brand as there would have been some evident signs in the community about this big name brand. Now, what do I think it could be? There is a, uh, I forget the name of the company, but there is an owner of um, an old Kellogg's factory um, out in Hamilton or somewhere, or London. I am completely messing it up. Uh, I think they are a potential buyer of Marineland, but again, this is all speculation. I also think it could be anyone that owns and operates Clifton Hill could be another buyer as well, or it could be someone in the family or an American purchaser, a billionaire from the States um, that has been buying up a lot of these smaller parks. Now, um, with that being said, uh, I, I am really excited about the future of Marineland. I really do hope they go down the direction that is obvious to anyone that buys Marineland and kind of start to get rid of those animals and transition into a rides and entertainment and family park. Um, they sit in a very prime real estate and I would love to see someone finally utilize it to its full ability. I really hate the family that currently owns Marineland. I think they are literally the most dumb family that could have operated a theme park in history. Um, they ignored all the cues and signs of the public and just kept going. And I just, unfortunately, uh, they put this park in the grave uh, where it truthfully belongs under current ownership. But with new ownership, with the right leadership and the right decisions, this park really does have a lot of potential to be a top player in the amusement industry. It's got one of the primest lands ever. It has access to around 14 million guests a year. 
Um, that's even more attendance than potentially some of these other regional American parks even. So really fingers crossed that I'm wrong and it is a reg- uh, a big destination regional ownership park like Hershend. I would kill for an owner like that. Um, But unfortunately, I just am not seeing the signs. But we should know May 1st, according to uh, some of these news articles out there. Comment down below who you would like to see purchase Marineland and what you would like to see in the future for Marineland. Anyways, thanks so much for watching today's update. And obviously, if I learn more, I will make a video on it. Have a good one, guys. Bye.